Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are reviewing Moon. Yes, I have just finished watching Moon. This is the 2009 movie which is directed by Duncan Jones. Now Duncan Jones, the name really just... You know, I, I look, when I was looking into who he was and what he's directed in the past, he's actually David Bowie's son, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, but yeah, Duncan Jones directed this movie. This was a movie that I picked up as part of like the 4K Blu-ray haul from Facebook, the like 18 movies I had for 80 quid, that video. That was part of this. I went into it blind, didn't watch anything. Um, I know it stars Sam Rockwell um, as the main astronaut itself. Uh, the actually plays a guy called Sam in there, called Sam Bell. Um, it's really interesting, it's a really good film, and I got quite a bit to say about it. I haven't really started looking at space movies on the channel, but I am a big fan of space movies. Obviously, I've mentioned quite a bit that I'm a a massive Star Wars fan and that's kind of where that started but since I've watched like Gravity I've watched Martian um those are mainly two space films that I really really enjoy and every space film that I tend to I tend to see on the big screen I even watched the Apollo 11 documentary which is kind of like based on real footage that was great but I do have Apollo 13 to watch which stars Tom Hanks and I've also got the 2001 Space Odyssey movie by Stanley Kubrick as well as the 2010 The Year We Made Contact all those space typey films I absolutely love and um yeah Moon was was great. I rated this really, really much. I thought it started off quite slow, I guess. Um, but there was a computer on there which is called Gertie. And um, I guess in a nutshell, this guy is like, his name's Sam Bell, and we're led to believe that he's obviously like an astronaut, he's doing a job on the moon, and he's got to, uh, I guess, harvest energy from the moon, which then on Earth, they're using that energy to power homes, electricity, all that type of stuff. But he is there for like, I think it's like a three month thing, or sorry, three year thing. Um, he says goodbye to his family, we see him have calls with his family, etc. And um, yeah. That's what we're led to believe. It's basically just him working there um, alongside a computer called Gertie. That that computer Gertie is actually like got a bit of like comedy about it, and it's voiced by Kevin Spacey. Um, it's a good new machine. I think the voice was perfect casting for the machine because the voice was just like like I guess Kevin Spacey's voice is quite melodrone and quite like there's no tone to it. It just stays at the same like frequency throughout. And that's what you want from like a robot. So it was quite good actually. He just spoke normally, very much like how he does in House of Cards, etc. But I'm not gonna spoil the movie itself. I will say though, there's like a really good twist like in the film. It's actually really short, 97 minutes long, so just over an hour and a half. But you do get a bit of a twist and it is like it turns into a space thriller. Like I've never really seen space thrillers like Martian's not really a thriller. It's like, a, you know, just like an adventure, action adventure type thing. And uh, and I guess the same, well, the other one I think it was Ad Astra. Ad Astra is a really good one, but they're not really like thrillers. This was, this had like something about it, like story wise, where you had to really think about it. And it was like, hang on a minute, why is this happening? And I will say like the ending for me was perfect. Um, They did lead it up to a sequel, but I kind of like the fact that there's an opportunity for the sequel, but obviously this came out in 2009 so about 12 years ago now and there's been no sequel since so I quite like that in a way sometimes where we are led to believe there could be something after but we don't exactly know what it is and uh and yeah this film though did get best BAFTA for uh, a producer and a director so that was obviously for uh, Duncan Jones um Sundance uh, Film Festival Hugo Award London Film Critics uh, the Biffa Award for Best British Film as well as the Douglas Hickox Awards we had multiple awards all on the front there at the bottom on the on the 4k I did, as you can see, watch this in 4K. Um, has Dolby Atmos and, and all that stuff, HDR. And with all the movies, I kind of just think it is what it is. The the quality of the 4K I didn't think was as good as probably the Blu-ray. It didn't look much different, like crispy. Um, the Atmos was quite good, though. There was some scenes where like he was inside like a tank thing, and there was like rubble on top, and you got that immersion immersion there. So um, yeah, really, really great film, Moon. I will rate this though out of 10, as I always do, and I'm going to rate this a seven out of 10. It's up there. It's really good. The twist, as I say, just like led me off guard and just was, it was really good but it really was slow to begin with the first 20 minutes I just felt like it was a bit like okay how we this is where is this going um I felt like the beginning was a bit the worst part of the film but the last hour was just fantastic so yeah seven out of ten there it is though guys thank you so much for watching my review of moon stay tuned for more on the channel I'm going to be doing loads more videos coming soon so stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one goodbye <laughs>